Hi everyone, it's Robin Clayton and I want to welcome you back to my channel, ZODC at the Farm. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad to have you. Uh, if you're not new to my channel, welcome back uh, to All Things Glass here. This is a, a passionate hobby of mine and I work on these beautiful glass flowers that I uh, always love to um, share uh, with all of you. So today I'm going to be working on actually a new process. Uh, it's not going to be like the other flowers that I've worked on so I'm kind of excited to share it with you all right so I've got this beautiful piece so this is actually a, a two-piece uh, flower petal I've got this main glass golden flower petal followed by this uh, red flower petal followed by some uh, th these are actually a gold uh, shiny stones um, that I've actually purchased from Amazon that I have uh, uh, put in the middle of this to give it um, a very balanced and lovely uh, look. Now I'm going to turn it over to the back to show you the process. So, uh, and we're going to get to the cutting process, but this is actually a new mounting uh, format that I'm going to be using. So you can mount this uh, directly to the wall, uh, to a stud, or you can also set this on a stand, but I'm not going to be using the traditional uh, hook that I normally would use. So I'm going to show you how this process was completed throughout the video. So I hope that you will stay with me because I'm going to give you the tips from A to Z on how to make this gorgeous flower uh, for your home or for your garden. Okay, all right, let's move on now to the cutting of these particular pieces. Okay, here's a piece of glass that I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to have to find a drill bit that I have that cuts through glass that is this particular size uh, so that I can fit this through another piece of glass, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take this piece and this this will cut the size hole that I'm actually looking for. Okay, for this for this piece. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I set up my station. And I always use my uh, block of wood here along with my uh, cardboard support. Then I'm going to set my piece directly under here. thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put my water on here so we can get this started and here we go Okay, so we have finished cutting this particular flower. Remember that I put this, I cut this flower, this gold flower, I put a hole in it big enough so that the stem uh, could pass through 
such as this one. The stem would pass through the gold flower. And then I secured it with a mechanism like this that will mount directly into the wall. So this is just a, a piece of metal here with three screws that tighten right in to the, uh, the stem of the petal and then this gets mounted into a stud. Next part of completing this flower is I'm going to go ahead and put some gold uh, stony flakes in the middle to finish this off with this particular uh, product and it's called shiny stone. All right, so we're gonna do that next. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see how I do this. All right, so I've got my flower set up. I've got it sitting here uh, evenly in this little support that I have. And you can see that side of the flower petal. So I'm gonna try and turn it so you can see what I'm doing. I've got these uh, shiny gold flecks. Okay, so I'm taking this silicone and I'm putting it right down there in the center, just like that. Take my glove and I'm going to switch that around so I get a good amount of coverage all the way around. Then I'm going to take my flakes and I'm going to just simply pour those right there in the center. just as it is okay so there we go okay so now I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and we should be good to go okay folks so now we're at the point of uh, mounting this on a stand and this is a 16 inch stand that I'm going to be mounting this with so you have some idea of the um, the size of this particular flower so then I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to just go ahead and sit it right here on the stand okay so it sits just like that all right I think that looks absolutely amazing especially with all of these uh, gold uh, stones here in the middle as a centerpiece as opposed to the orb that I normally use okay and then here's the back of it all right just like that and I just think that just looks so amazing just absolutely beautiful I hope you love it because I know I do all right now I'm going to take it off the stand so you can see how this would actually mount into the wall Okay, so here's the actual piece. All right, so this drywall screw actually goes through the center, so you mount this first into the wall. Okay, so there's the screw that mounts into the wall, goes straight through that hole. And then I take uh, this particular flower and I push it through here and then I tighten up those screws. Okay, so that's how that would uh, mount either uh, inside your home or outside your home. Okay. All right, folks, this is the end of the video. I want to thank you for joining me here today. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, absolutely new process that, that I have uh, come up with uh, to mount directly to the wall or to sit in a stand. I think the flower is absolutely magnificent with the uh, gold stones in the middle as well. I think it absolutely makes such a huge uh, centerpiece for, for any place in your home. And I love the fact that you can set it in a stand or mount it directly uh, to the wall, both inside and outside. Okay. So if you have any questions with regards to this flower or the process itself, you can email me at hurricane4cr at gmail.com. You can also find these pieces uh, if you you're interested in purchasing them at my website at www.zodiceatthefarm.com.
If you have any comments, please list them in the comments section below. I always love hearing from, from people. I am going to uh, list uh, some pieces from a uh, lady named Marcia who uh, went ahead and took the plunge and, and made some of these flowers uh, herself by following the process. So those will be included in the video as well. I just want you to have a wonderful week. I want you to have a blessed month and I hope to see you next time here at Zodi at the Farm. Take care. Bye.